the disappearing swimming hole. How much water is left in the rain barrel, Sally? That's it, Uncle. It's empty. Boy, it's hot today. I hope you both are ready to cool off at the swimming hole. We sure are, Loli. Now that we've finished watering the flowers. They needed it, too. They were all droopy this morning, and now they're standing straight and tall. Well, this heat has me drooping, too. So let's get to that swimming hole. how droopy those poor corn stalks are. Hey, look! That's Farmer Patrick Pig's corn. His corn stalks aren't drooping. Hmm. That's odd. You're right. But I'm really going to be drooping if we don't hurry up and get cooled off in that swimming hole. <laughs> It's Mr. Rabbit's car. I guess the bunny family's here to swim in the swimming hole, too. Hey, it looks like they're leaving. And they're looking kind of sad. Sorry to have to tell you, but there's not going to be any swimming today. No swimming? How come? The swimming hole is gone. Gone? But how can that be? <gasps> well, there's a hole, but nothing in it to swim in. What happened to all the water? Just yesterday, it was full of water. There one day, gone the next. Now that's a mystery. Busy Town Action Bug News. Goldbug here near Farmer Patrick's farm, where things are starting to really heat up on another mystery. What can you tell us about it, Huckle? Well, Goldbug, all the water from the swimming hole has disappeared. And I'm going to figure out where it went and solve the missing water mystery. Sounds like you're going to splash right into this watery mystery, Huckle. Am I right? You bet. Ready for it? Here it goes! <gasps> Sure to stay tuned for important news updates on this thirst quenching mystery. Goldbug out! I'm so thirsty, I could drink two bottles of water. Well, I'm very thirsty, so I could drink three bottles of water. Yeah, well, I'm extra thirsty, so I could drink four bottles of water. Whoa! Somebody must have been very, very extra, extra thirsty. They drank all the water in the swimming hole. <laughs> <laughs> Relax, guys. I don't think anybody could drink that much water. A giant could. A very extra thirsty giant. Maybe in a storybook. But I think the water that was here disappeared some other way. The question is, how? Look, there's something sticking out near the bottom. You're right, Loli. It looks like the end of a great big straw. A giant size straw, just the right size for a giant! Uh, there are no giants. And it's not a straw. Uh, it's a metal pipe. And if we could find the other end, I bet we'd find where the water went. I will find the other end. No, you won't. You're too thirsty. I'll find it. Oof. <laughs> Well, what do you know? Pig Won't stumbled over the rest of the pipe. See? Told you I would. Now we can follow the pipe along to the other end. Let's go! Sally. The pipe went back into the ground. Oh, now we'll never find out where the water went. Hmm. Yes, we will. Look over there. 
the pipe comes back up over there. Come on, let's check it out. All clear, guys. Let's go. Hmm. If the water did go through this pipe, this is where it came out. But then where did it go, Hucko? I don't know, Loli. Hey, it's Farmer Patrick Pig. Maybe he knows where the water went. Never mind, Sally. I think I might know where all the water went. Me too. Me three. Where? Well, that's a truck that carries bottled water. Right? Right. I bet the bottled water guy took all the water from the swimming hole and used it to fill his bottles. Good thinking, Wooly. Come on, let's follow that bottled water truck. Excuse us. But all the water from our swimming pool disappeared. And we were wondering if maybe you filled your bottles with it. <laughs> well, I can assure you we don't fill our bottles with water that anyone's been swimming in. <laughs> Come on, I'll show you. We only use water that's sparkling clean and fresh. Water that's been pumped up from deep under the ground. Well, I guess that means you didn't take the water from our swimming hole. Nope, not me. Well, thanks for showing us your factory. I'm sorry for the trouble. No trouble. Help yourselves do a few bottles of water on your way out. You must be super thirsty on a hot day like today. Really? Thanks. Cool. Yes, we are. I'm very extra thirsty. I'm extra very thirsty. <sighs> I'm so thirsty I can drink two bottles. I'm so thirsty I can drink three bottles. Well, Huckle, if the bottled water guy didn't take the water from the swimming hole, what happened to it? I'm not sure, Luli. Hey, firefighters use water to put out fires, right? Right. Maybe the firefighters used the water from the swimming hole to put a fire out. Good thinking, Sally. Come on, let's go to the fire station and check it out. Five bottles! Six bottles. Wait for us! Well, Sally, our fire truck can pump water from swimming pools, rivers, and lakes if a fire hydrant isn't around. Uh, swimming holes, too, I guess. But we didn't pump the water from your swimming hole. As a matter of fact, there hasn't been a fire in Busy Town for a long time. Then why were you racing around in the fire truck? <laughs> we went out to get some cold lemonade. Would you like a glass? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Oh, yeah. I'm, yeah. I'm so thirsty. thirsty. Not for us. No thanks. Uh, does the fire station have a bathroom? <clears throat> thanks. <laughs> <laughs> okay, if the bottled water guy didn't take the water and the firefighters didn't take the water, who did? Maybe if we go back to where the pipe from the swimming hole ended, we can find a clue that will help us answer that question. Wait, Wait for, for us! us! We have to look around carefully for clues. You know, it sure is strange that all the corn in the other field is drooping, but Farmer Patrick Pig's corn is standing tall and straight. Is that another mystery, Huckle? I guess so, Sally. But right now, we have a where did all the water go mystery to solve. Where did all the water go? Hmm. Aha. I think I know what happened to all the water in the swimming hole. And why Patrick Pig's corn isn't drooping like all the other corn. kids, what can I do for you? Well, we were wondering if you used the water from our swimming hole to water your cornfield. Oh, I guess I did. But what you call a swimming hole is really my irrigation pond. Your what? Irrigation pond. That's what it's called. It's a pond that holds the water until I need it to water my crops. Just like the rain barrel holds water for our flowers back home. That's right, Sally. We did it. We all helped Huckle solve the mystery of the missing water. So, Huckle, how did you figure it out? Well, Goldbug, here's how we did it. First.
first, we noticed a metal pipe at the bottom of the swimming hole. We followed that pipe, which led us to Farmer Patrick's field. Then we noticed that the corn in another field was drooping, but Farmer Patrick's corn was standing straight and tall. That made me think that Farmer Patrick must have used the water from the swimming hole to water his corn. So we asked him, and he did. Our swimming hole is actually his irrigation pond. Huckle, how do you feel now that you've solved the mystery? I feel hot, Goldbug. Hot and droopy, and I really need a swim. I know. Why don't we go home and run through the lawn sprinkler? It's not big enough to water a cornfield, but it's big enough to water us off. What do you think, Huckle? I think it's cool, Loli. Real cool. The Forgotten Fire Hose Mystery. Sally, wait up! Hi, Huckle! This is for you! Really? For me? How nice! Hiya, Sally! <gasps> ah! Lowly? <laughs> <laughs> you sure fooled me! Hi, kids. Hey, hey watch what you want. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. Uh, help! Help! Uh, help! Ah! Ah! Hey, hey, watch it. Help! Uh, help! What's going on? What's going on? Help! Oops, <laughs> sorry again. What's the emergency, Charles? There's a giant snake on the loose. It's in the park, and it's scaring everybody. A giant snake? <clears throat> I hate snakes. Not as much as I hate snakes. Can you get rid of a giant snake? Yes, we can. Smoky, sparky, snozzle, and squirty, ready for duty. Firefighters to your stations. Ooh, ow, 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 <laughs> pardon me. It hurts. <laughs> Equipment checklist. Helmets. Check. Red light. Check. Siren. Check. Fire hose. <gasps> There's no fire hose. Huh? No fire hose? Oh, we can't go after that snake without our hose. You can't? Nope. It's a fire station rule. We can't answer a call unless we're fully equipped. The snake will have to wait until we find our fire hose. We had it this morning. Where could it be? Ooh. Hmm. A missing fire hose. That sounds to me like a mystery. A mystery that we will solve so you can go and catch that giant snake. Right, team? Right. Busy town action bug news. Gold bug here at the fire station with the hottest news in town. What's the buzz in busy town, Huckle? The firefighters need their fire hose. Without it, they can't catch the giant snake. Ooh, that doesn't sound good. It isn't. The fire hose was here this morning, but now it's missing. We're going to find it and solve the missing fire hose mystery. Ready for it? Here goes! <gasps> friends are hot on the trail of the missing fire hose. Will they find it? Stay tuned. Goldbug, out! Well, goodbye and good luck. What does the fire hose look like exactly? It's very, very long, it's gray, and it has a shiny nozzle at the end. And you're sure it's not here? Ooh. 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 Hi. 
positive. Okay, let's think. Did you leave the station today? Yep. We went out on two calls today. Where'd you go first? Well, we went to Mr. Frumble's house to get his hat down from a tree. Thank you. Hmm. Maybe you left the hose there. Let's go to Mr. Frumble's house and look for it. Right, Sally. Come on, everybody. Would you like a ride on the fire engine? <gasps> yeah! To Mr. Frumble's house. Hi, Mr. Frumble. We're looking for the fire hose. Is it here? The fire hose? Nope, I haven't seen a fire hose anywhere around here. Aw. We'd better keep looking. Where else did you go today? Just to the park. The park? That's where the giant snake is. Be careful if you go there. I heard the snake is very long and gray, and it's jumping out of the bushes at people. Jumping out at people? Um, I don't think the hose is at the park. We don't need to go there. But it has to be there. That's the only other place the firefighters went today. Let's go! <laughs> Where'd the water go? So where did you go in the park? Well, we were answering a fire alarm call near the fountain. All four of us held the hose to put out the blaze. Only it wasn't a fire. It was the green bug's barbecue. Why did all four of you have to hold the hose? Well, when the water runs through the fire hose, oh, it really jumps around. It takes all four of us to hold it steady. Okay, then. Was that the last time you remember having the hose? Yes, at the picnic area near the fountain. Then the hose must be there now. Come on! Nobody's allowed in because of the snake. Uh, we can't go in? Ah, uh, too bad. But we have to go in. That's where we think the hose is, and the firefighters need their hose before they can catch the snake. Believe me, you don't want to go in there. The snake is huge. I saw it myself. Why are you wet? It was the snake. It jumped out of a bush and spit water at me. It spit water? Can snakes do that? Oh, this one can. You're as wet as the green bugs were today, after we squirted them with the hose. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. Sergeant Murphy, what did the snake look like? Let's see. It was long, gray, and had a shiny head. And the missing fire hose is long? gray and has a shiny nozzle. And when water shoots out of the hose, it jumps around, right? That's right. And the snake jumped at you, right? It sure did. I know where the fire hose is. And I can get rid of the snake. You can? You can? You can? Goldbug here with a busy town news flash. Huckle is going to face the giant snake but I need to go into the park to do it. Uh-uh. No can do. Oh, I see. Yes, Huckle, you can go in and take care of that snake. And we'll all go in with you. Are you sure about this, Huckle? Yup. Come on! 
Oh, do we have to go in? No, you can stay here if you like. You see that, folks? Huckle has bravely defeated the giant water squirting snake. Busy Town is safe once again. How did you do it, Huckle? Well, Goldboy, here's how I figured it out. First, we thought that the hose might be at Mr. Frumble's house. Then the firemen remembered that they had used the hose at the park earlier that day. Sergeant Murphy told us that the snake in the park was long and gray with a shiny head. The fire hose is long and gray, too, and it has a shiny nozzle. That's how I figured out that the snake was really the fire hose. And they left the water running, so it was jumping around and spraying water. You did it, Hucko! Mystery solved! Everybody all together solved a mystery with Hucko. You can solve one, two. Without my mystery solving team. Thanks, guys. Ah! I wasn't afraid. Yes, you were. 